three two hello everybody how are you <laughs> welcome you. to our second um stamping let's see sunday stamping with susan and julie yes oh my gosh i love doing this i'm so glad that we finally just like yep. put it out there it's so much fun yeah. to get together and share each week with you how are you doing how was your week it was busy crazy busy um finished up club on uh monday uh and this is the first club with the new catalog so everybody is just loving it and um i had a, a workshop a party on sunday too kind of in between so um and they wanted they specifically scheduled it uh after maui but before the hostess special ends which you're yes. going to talk about in a minute. No, I I just want to remind everybody, my, I'm so thrown off by this camera. So there is one more day, I guess two, like a day and a half. Today and tomorrow, Monday, June 14th is the last day to connect, craft, and collect. So this was a host special. If you hosted a party that was $250 or more, but also if you just order a lot, if you order $250 or more, you get an extra $25 in host rewards. So I'm so glad that your host was able able to take advantage of that. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah, they were there. They were excited too. They loved all the projects. It was a lot of fun. They're a good group. I love stamping with them. So my club is a group, good group too. I love of course, uh, Dan and I went to a tiger game Tuesday and you know, rah, rah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no yes. masks and we're back to full capacity. So <laughs> that's so wonderful. It is. I love, and I love that we can gather again. So even if you don't, right. um, even if you don't meet the deadline for this connect craft and collect, um, promotion with the extra $25. If you're interested in hosting an in-person or virtual party with me or mom, make sure to reach out and get in touch with us because with the new catalog and a mini coming up in another six weeks or so, um, it's such a great time to host. And a celebration. That's right. Celebration will come again for two months in August and September when the mini catalog launches. So it's going to be tied to that. So I forgot yeah. about that. That's super exciting. I know, right? Oh, and so there will be another host special during celebration. So yes, that is a great time to host. Yes, there absolutely will. Are you ready to jump in and share some projects? I'm just going to ask you the same thing. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to remove my spotlight so uh, you can flip your camera real quick right. Mom, and show your desktop and we'll, uh, we'll just jump right in today. Yes, we will. Okay. So Julie and I decided um, to showcase or show this fun die. This is called Picture This. So it's two dies, one with the circles and one with the rectangles. And you can find that on page 164, right down here. Um, it's $34 to get both dies. And then you get some fun little um, elements that you can hang on to and use. So I'm just gonna um, show you very quickly a couple of projects in the catalog that um, showcase this. So the first one I'm gonna show you is on page 67 and it's using the uh, Peekaboo Farm. So um, here's the project here. I'm going to lay this out. I'm just trying not to make sure there's glare. Let me move my post-it out of the way. This is such a hidden gem. Like, I feel like if you don't know it's back there in the catalog, it's so yeah. easy to miss. Yeah, I, I, I know I missed it the first few times that I went through it. And then the next one is on page 48. I'm going to turn my catalog this way. And so this is um, using some fun um sequins to make Ooh, like little awesome. windows and it's got some a designer series paper uh on the background of that that's actually the so, shaker card do you think they just put like the um like the shaker frames huh. just around the perimeter so that it's all one big shaker thing I, I, oh I, you know i don't know i think that's it how i would do it. be but then all the sequins would just kind of fall to the bottom right uh, yeah, until you shake it. That would be the easiest way because otherwise you have to like have a a frame around each. Each one, yeah. That'd be a lot of work. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing your sample, Julie. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Now I'm using the circles. 
And so Julie is using the rectangles. So here we go. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to slide this out of the way too. So I've kind of already done some things. I am using, uh, what am I using? Nope, oh, here we go. Um, I am using plentiful plants and the coordinating um, designer series paper, which I will show you very quickly, very, very quickly. But that, that's what I chose to use. And I wanted to use some designer series paper behind it. Um, so um, we're going to be using this side of this piece. And this is just six by 12, just because I had cut it to work on this project. Um, oh, I got to put this on the floor. And then this one just has all um, empty pots. And many of those coordinate with dyes. Yes, they do. They absolutely do. And this side just has some ferns and gra uh, gray granite. This one is just the plants. So you can mix and match and make your own little garden. And the back side of this guy is um, some wood grain. Oh, I love that. Why my camera's doing weird things? Keeps trying to focus. I don't know. This one is potted plants. So that would be a fussy cut one. There's no dice. A fussy cut one, right, right. Which see, I kind of uh, used part of this. And oh, this one also yeah. has some wood grain. Boy, that's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. We're gonna have to figure that out. Yeah. But it's just a bunch of ferns, a pretty, pretty background. The flip side of this is bricks. Mm. You're gonna see this on my project. Oh, my and some more ferns and some cinnamon cider bricks. Yes, I love this paper. Isn't it pretty? I almost didn't get this. I almost didn't get it. Okay, so card base is going to be gray granite. Let me just dump all my other little elements. Some things I kind of did ahead of time just for the sake of time. Mm -hmm. um, so I, and I will stamp on, on air this week. And I went ahead and um, die cut out um, the circles with this brick background. And then I've got some elements from the designer series paper kind of all ready to go. Um, and I did stamp that one, but I have to, oh, I didn't, that's right. Yeah, I did stamp. Okay, so I have a bunch of these. So this is gonna be kind of a gatefold. Was there only three? What happened to my fourth one? Oh no, this happened to me last week. Oh no. Well, I've got it right here. I can quickly cut, oh, here it is, here it is. Woo! Phew. Okay. It blend in. <laughs> it did. It did. All right. So I've got my little pieces that are going to go in my windows in my gray granite background. So um, I'm going to score this. This is going to be so cute. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> All right. I didn't score this one yet. Okay. Woo. The paper is shifting. Um, so I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I almost blew that Woo! one. All right. All right, I'm going to score this at two and an eight. Let me get, make sure my cutting blade is not here because that would be the other thing I do. <laughs> All right, oops, that's two and a quarter. Come on here. And then what I do, is um, I fold this one in and with the, my little mountain side up. And a lot of people will tell you to score it on the other side as well. And you certainly can, you know, can do that. I was just gonna say, I always do the second score, but I love this little tip that you showed me. Yeah, yeah. And then instead of scoring this, because you know sometimes when you score it, they don't quite meet and it's very frustrating, right? Yeah. So I just go ahead and fold this to the center and let them meet and then take my bone folder and so really give it a good score so that it meets. Yeah. So there's my tip of the week. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and glue two of these down. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue. I love liquid glue. So did you tell us, are those two inches oh, by? They are one and seven, one and seven eighth by five and a quarter. Oh and yeah, you're... perfect. Because each of the panels are Four two. of them. Okay. That's perfect. One and seven eighth by five and a quarter. All right, so I'm also 
going to, oh, I'm missing a piece of paper. I'm going to put some on here on these two panels as well. Okay. And it's always so sad to cover up like the other side because I love that other side. Yeah, I do too. But th this reminds me, I immediately thought of Europe when we were there. Oh, yeah. All this kind of stone like everywhere, yeah. especially in Italy. And do you think I'm going to get this in here? That was a fun trip. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did. Are we allowed to tell where we're, uh, where the trip is in 2023? I mean, next, yeah. next year's the Caribbean. It is. It was posted on the demonstrator website. So it is, it is open to share. You want to, you want to tell everybody where we're going? Oh, I'm going to let you do it because I, oh, yep. Yeah, here it is. Okay. I, I thought I didn't have this, but I do. Uh, <laughs> We're going to the Baltic. Yay! <laughs> oh, I've got blue on. Oh, shoot. I'm so excited. So the trip that we're earning right now is the Eastern Caribbean, and that will be next May. And then it'll be the year after that. That's the yeah. Baltic Sea Cruise. So we're not we're not earning that one yet, but that's just sort of what's to come. So I'm super excited about that. I've never been to that area of the world and uh, it's going to be fun. You're really, okay, there we go. Back in focus. Okay. So I need this one down. Okay. So I've got a piece of whisper white and I, and I cut my designer series paper um, for four inches by five and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted, I wanted to use the brick background and then I wanted to, um, put some little elements in here. I'm going to cheat and look at my other card. So that's a little bit tricky to do it this way, but um, I thought, what the heck? <laughs> so I'm going to kind of um, put them where I want them. And I had to do a little trimming, cutting. Let's see, you go up in the corner and I may have to trim this guy. And actually, I can just show you the finished product. So you don't have to sit here and watch me glue all this down. Um, so I kind of placed these and I use liquid glue. And you kind of have to be careful and hold down the designer series paper um, so that you can, when you're gluing, so that you can get it in the right spot. Yeah. And I love how you made like little circles though and made them all like the sizes so you can just go in underneath. Like that's clever. pretty much. Yeah. 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 And then, but some of the smaller images. I had to kind of hand cut. And again, these are, um, you can just kind of slide them in. It didn't take me that long to be you know, honest with you. You just have to, it, it's a little fussy, but anyway, that's the look we're going for. That's okay. so fun. So that's what I did. And I'm, like I said, and for the sake of time, I'm not going to sit here and do it. And then for the front, um, I cut, um, use the layering circles and I cut the two largest ones out and I'm using uh, the pot and some ferns and I already did the greeting the to a dear friend so um usually I stamp first and then die cut but again I didn't want you to have to sit here and watch me uh do that so um I'm going to just stamp this towards the bottom this tends to be a very oh you know what I didn't put under here is a foam mat not bad for not having a foam mat. Yeah, and that, um, that this, this stamp set is supposed to look like that. Like it has a, a variation yes. in, the, in the shading of the pots. It's one of the distinctive lines. Yes. I love, I love that kind of look because sometimes the solid ones, if it's not exactly perfect, then it doesn't look right. Exactly, exactly. So there is that. And what I did then was just layer, layer this on here. And then stuck the deer. For, oh, and I smudged ink. <gasps> oh, Ooh. no. Let's see. Let's cover it. There Here's you it. go. <laughs> There's no mistakes. There's just opportunity. So that's where I'm going to put this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was smudging the other day all over everything. I, I know. Oh, yesterday I had ink. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I have ink it everywhere. Oof. All right. So let me pull out the finished. Oh man, this is just sticking everywhere too. All right. Who hiss? We're gonna put you aside. So here 
my dears. <laughs> it's the <laughs> card. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, there it is. So two dear friends, our little potted plant, and you open it up and you've got your pots and so on and so forth on the inside. And I put the designer series paper here so that you had some opportunity to write a note or stamp another inside greeting, kind of whatever, however you wanted to do it. So that is this card and I just love it. And then I want to show you what I did too, um, is I made another one. So while we were in Hawaii, one of the, we got some um, other designer series paper, which as Julie mentioned last week, we split, we like to split packs. So this one is the Halloween and this is the only Halloween thing we got on the incentive trip. I'm gonna just close up my glue. Um, so I just wanted to share this very quickly with you. Six by six paper. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? And then the back side of this one is just some um, black and white stripes. And some ghosts. Isn't that cute? It is. In fact, it's called Cute Halloween. I had to look it up. <laughs> oh, thanks. Cute Halloween with these words. Boo. I almost used this side of it, um, but I did something different. So. And then some bats. We got some that are sleeping upside down and this little guy. And then the I bat. Just, I want to say it again, but it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is just kind of a black and it's got some variations of black on there too. It's hard to see on camera. And then this one is just a sheet of haunt, little tiny haunted houses. Mm. And the back side of this are some skulls and ghosts and bats in black and white. I like, I love how one side's black and white so you can do some coloring if you want yeah, or yeah. leave it black and white. And this is some skulls and some um, gravestones and some more stripes, more in the gray tones. And this one, oh, okay. So this one's just a candy. And then this one is just polka dots in the I different colors. That. Yeah, there's some good patterns. Like if you don't do Halloween, like there's still some good, yeah, yeah, good patterns to use for other stuff. So here's what I did with that one is I again used designer series paper, um, and I just incorporated um, this boo is from Banner Banner. It's a Banner Year or something. Mm. Um, and then I just took a couple strips of the polka dots just to kind of add a little something something to it. And then I just popped up the little haunted house. These two I fussy cut. And these two, I just kind of um, punched. And I, um, I was trying to get just the jack-o'-lantern, but I thought, you know what, it's Halloween, it's candy. So yeah, no, I think that's perfect. And yeah. there is, so this designer paper, this suite has a stamp set with a coordinating punch and the punch punches out the, the pumpkin, the ghost. What is oh it? yeah. And a cat, I think. Ghost. Yeah. And a cat face. Uh, but all three oh. images are on one punch. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the cat. And there's another stamp set that's a greeting in one of the other ones that says all nine lives. I was cute in all nine, my nine lives or something. I thought that was so <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, yep. So that is this one. So those were my, um, I wanted to, to just showcase for me, pull this guy out again, um, just to showcase that um, whatever this, I just called <laughs> I love it. Picture this die. Picture this. Yes. <laughs> All, All right. right. So Julie, you are up, babes. Ready to see. So I focused on the rectangle die from this set. And one thing that's really cool when you die cut um, with, with both of them, whether it's the rectangles or the circles, um, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a stitched border on around the um, the images, the rectangles and the circle, and then the pieces that come out also have the stitched border on them. So I love that you can use them for either way. And so I want to show you really quick. I know you shared some projects in a catalog that um, used the um, the negatives, but here's one and they have the rectangle dies here, but to me, these look like the same sizes as the um, as the rectangles that come out of that die. So even if they're not, you could still use them in the same way to layer the die cut 
circles or rectangles on your card like that. So that's page 55 in the catalog. Well, here's a card. I did this one and um, this was one I did in another video, but it was very similar to kind of how you did where I just added some different designer paper in each hole. Um, and then this is the biggest wish stamp set and the sweet symmetry designer paper. For this project though, I decided to just create a background with one piece of designer paper. So I've got the new pale papaya. This is one of the new in colors. And this paper is from the hand penned. I love these soft florals in the hand pen designer paper, but I think I love even more the B side paper because it's all these soft like patterns and I feel like they're so versatile. I've used so many of these patterns with different stamp sets besides this hand penned floral. So for this one, I'm using those polka dots and you've got kind of that watercolor background. So that's the I hand. I almost pen. used hand penned. Did you really? <laughs> I almost did. It's I decided so I needed to break out of my comfort zone because I've been using it a lot. <laughs> yes, well, it is so beautiful. And like I said, those other sides are perfect for you know, mixing and matching with other steam sets. So uh, I'm going to put this on the front and it looks like I have like, there's like just a little edge. I'm going to, I'm going to cut that really quick and trim that off. So the designer paper I cut to match the card front, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I tried it a little bit smaller and I can show you my other finished sample when I'm done. Um, but I think I like the pattern to go all the way to the edge like this. So I'm going to add my, um, my banner over it. Uh, I guess I should have stamped before I glued all this down. So fingers crossed, I don't mess it up. <laughs> It'll be fine. Too late now. Um, so I'm gonna glue this. Oh, okay, Let me, I gotta make sure it's right set up, but I guess it doesn't matter yet. So I'm gonna center this over the designer paper, and I just used regular adhesive because the element I'm gonna add on top is gonna be with dimensionals. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp directly on the designer paper. That's why I'm saying I guess I should have stamped it first. Fingers crossed. It'll be fine. Ta -da! Not terrible. I feel like it could have been a little darker and I think it's straight. So we're good. I forgot to show you the stamp set I'm using. I'm using the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. This is one that is in the new annual catalog and it's bundled with a punch. I love punch bundles because they're just so um, easy, uh, you know, to, to stamp and punch and not have to worry about the die. So I'm going to stamp some flowers for this. So I put two of the flowers on the same block and then I've got the little leaves on a different block. So let's stamp some of these on scraps and then punch them out. I am going to punch and stamp and punch two sets of the flowers and I'm going to stamp a bunch of leaves. Oh, here's the other one. I stuck it in my catalog. Um, I have tried to like put them all on the same block, but I think it's easier, especially with these leaves to, um, to just do like one at a time right and use a skinny strip so this strip is like three quarters of an inch and it works perfectly just to punch you know just the leaf then you're not wasting a bunch of um a bunch of cardstock you know trying to punch the whole thing so just a a little strip i'm gonna punch some leaves i made such a mess Whew. <laughs> That's a good tip, Julie. I um, I do the same thing. Um, after destroying a lot of cardstock, it was like, yeah, just get a small strip and do it. Yes. All right. Uh, I think that's enough leaves. So I'm gonna do the. Oh man, <laughs> it's good to pay attention. <laughs> Uh, so the, the thing it's good to pay attention to is that the small leaf is at the bottom of the punch. So if I had stamped this the other direction, in fact, let me just show you and do it. Um, because the small leaf is at the bottom of the punch or flower, um, you want to do that toward the bottom. Instead, I had 
the big flower towards the bottom. And then I, so I had to trim it, right? So the small flower at the bottom so that you can reach in there and it will fit. Ooh, it's like confetti. And then here's a tip for when you have a piece that's too short and you need to control, use a post-it note to hold the end of it so that you can control where your cardstock's gonna go. Cause I just trimmed that and then I didn't have anything to hold on to. Whoops. Okay. Good thing my ink pad didn't get anything messy. Got all my pieces, shoving some things over here. Really quick while I've got the ink out, I'm going to stamp one of these labels to go on the inside of the card, right? Because they're already die cut. We can save that for something um, for other projects, but let's go ahead and put one on the inside. I've been trying to really make an effort to um, stamp my insides more because I, I sometimes forget to do that. Okay. Now it's just putting together. So let's get out my glue dots. I really think, what did I do? I did dimensionals underneath the flowers and then glue dots for the leaves. So one dimensional on each of these. This card is so quick and easy with the, with the punch. <laughs> I hear dad. Hi, dad. He's <laughs> taking the pups out. And then glue dots for these leaves. Just stick it right on the glue dot. And I just, I pushed down a little bit like to activate it. That wasn't centered very well. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to glue down. That's going to go there. So I cheat and look at my card. I'm going to use the big one down here and then just sort of arrange the flowers around the card. So I'm doing three, right? Because we always do odd numbers. And, um, and then I kind of have them like in a triangle, sort of, right? Um, and. The one thing I was struggling with when I was designing this is alternating the leaves so that I didn't have like leaves sticking out the same way for each flower. So I did the leaves like in the corner here. And then this one is gonna be like one on each side. And with those glue dots, I can just go right, oh, that was, I can just go right underneath A dimension. So cute. I know, right? I really love the way this turned out. And then I wanted to add some bling. So I got out the genial gem and this coordinates with a hand pen designer paper. I know that these were like on back order or not orderable for a little while. I'm not sure the current status. So if you can't get these right now, they're coming back soon. I promise. I just looked at the inventory exchange report and I, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing him. Oh, so cute. Doesn't that just finish? Love, off love, so nice. It does. I, I debated on whether or not to add more gems like around them, but I feel like nope. I just want to keep it clean. Yep. And so That's then the, the tag is going to go on the inside just to dress up the inside a little bit. And then let's do, since I have an extra an extra die cut. Um, oh, or nice. Yeah, punch flower. So here's the, here's the first one I made and you can see the difference. On the first one, the designer paper is a little shorter, right? It's four inches by five and a quarter. And on the second one, it goes all the way to the edge. And so I just love being able to see the designer paper. Yeah. I think it makes a difference. I agree. I prefer it to cover the whole card base. So these rectangles can go vertical or horizontal. Yeah. 
I love that. All right. Oh, I have some more samples really quick to show. Um, using the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. Many of these are swaps, but I just wanted to show you some more. They all kind of have the same colors going on here with pale papaya and soft succulent. These are um, in colors again, and then the, the fresh freesia as well. This first one is by Barb Mulliken. And I love the little stripe. Again, that hand pen paper is so versatile just to add a little bit of that pattern. Here's one that I created and I added those loose flower flourishes. Um, just love those colors. Here's another one. This is actually from the Pansy Petals designer paper, but it's the same fresh freesia, the same kind of color combination there. And then this one is by Leanne Greff. And she's using new border dyes there to create the um, the fun kind of framing with the designer paper in the background. And this one is by Natalie Travis. So she's got some sponging with one of the masks and then just like the, the three flowers. Oh my gosh. Do you have this bundle? Yeah. I do. Oh, do I have this bundle? <laughs> <laughs> you, you silly girl. Yeah, <laughs> I my know. Favorites. <laughs> I think that was the first sweet I used when I got my stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me, let's, let's, um, let's get you back on camera here. All Can right. I still am figuring out this zoom. <laughs> I I know, it's I know. totally different than the like normal, like, you know, just hand videos that I do. So it's a, it's a little more coordination. <laughs> let me hold on my projects too. Aren't the, oh, hold on. Why are we not both spotlighted? Um, you know, oh, you know what? I just realized it doesn't do. Um, we, can, we, we can see us side by side, but in the recording, it only shows one at a time. Oh, okay. Okay, so you talk first and say, here's my projects. <laughs> here's my projects. <laughs> this was fun. This was so much fun this week. Uh, Julie and I kind of sat down over the phone and we kind of mapped out several weeks worth of projects. So I'm real excited for what we're, what's going to be coming up in the next few weeks. So, um, yes. anyway, so here's the one with the circles and the new Halloween paper. Take it away, Julie. And here are the rectangles. So uh, I was just going to add to that, even though we have sort of mapped out the things that we want to show over the next um, few weeks, if there's something that you would like to see that you would like us to focus on, whether it's designer paper or dyes or a bundle or a stamp set or product, like leave a comment and let us know. And we will try to work that into our schedule and our plan because I definitely want to showcase the things that you guys want to see. Absolutely. Oh, all right. Well, let's wrap it up. I hope right. that you have a great week, mom, and everybody too, else really. watching. And we will see you next Sunday for more Sunday stamping. What are we doing next week? What's our what's our, our product? Is it the host paper? It might be. I have to look because I wrote I wrote down our things on the calendar. Oh, I think it's actually another bundle. Okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but we'll, we'll see you next week, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah. Bye everybody. Have a wonderful Bye. week. Love you, sweetie. Love you too. Bye.